Hello everyone, this is Trade Tube back again with another deck review. Today we're looking at something a little more vintage. It is a Jack Daniels tin uh, collection set. The front of this tin says, or the top, says Jack Daniels, Rich Mellow, handcrafted. And it says Jekyll's playing cards. And the bottom it says Old Time Quality and Lynchburg, Tennessee. And you see Mr. Jack Daniels on there as well. Uh, you'll see that there, it's not perfect. It's got some uh, little dents in it. Not a big deal. That's it. There's nothing else on the tuckers except for dents. Or on the, uh, the tin. There's your inside. Inside you get, and I just got this at Valleyville City, which is a local thrift shop. I haven't been there in months. I decided to go check it out since I had the day off. And lo and behold, I found this. Pretty awesome. Inside you get two decks. It says Jack Daniels, playing cards, old number seven brand. Further, this one of his image and some beautiful artwork. And the other one, it says Jack Daniels, gentlemen's old number seven playing cards. With, again, his image on there. Up to the sides, it says plastic coated gentlemen's playing cards and Jack Daniels playing cards. Same with the other side. The top. It basically says poker size and made me a say. And in the bottom, again, poker size is a number 6633. Made 1994 whole products. I thought it might be older than that, but it's not. 1994. Get some barcodes. And the back is the same as the front. Seals have been ripped off. Bastards. <laughs> Just kidding. And the flaps, it tells me that it's licensed and produced by. Hoyle Products, not USB-C, but Hoyle Products, and St. Paul, Minnesota. Manufactured under the authority of Jack Daniel Distillery, Lynchburg, population 361, ever important one, Tennessee. I guess they all drink beer and work at the factory, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, so that's that. You might have seen these before, you know, but we'll want to look at them. Inside you get an informational card in both the decks. It basically says, Jack Daniels playing cards, a recreation of authentic Civil War era playing card faces. Just the faces, not the backs. Jack Daniels' legendary success began in Lynchburg, Tennessee back in 1866 when Jack decided his sipping whiskey would always be the best it could be. Not surprisingly, it became a favorite of card players and then, as now, the game of choice was poker with wood matches for chips. This deck of quality playing cards has been designed to reflect that earlier time. The antique card faces are an authentic recreation of 19th century playing cards. Like the Jack Daniels trademark, these uniquely printed cards conjure images of bygone days, straight talk, and an honest lifestyle. On the back, as any true professional will attest, poker is a game of skill. Yet too often is a friendly match infested by tin horns, Bad words. <laughs> and whose only purpose is to win at any cost. Fret no longer. The problem is eliminated through ingenious design in the deck you now hold. Simplicity of that design renders even the subtlest marking system easy to detect. Bold numbers and suit symbols invite recognition in divest lantern light, so magnifying eyeglasses are no longer necessary unless you're like me and you can't see. <laughs> Slip this pack in your valise, whatever that is, next trip up or down river and return the game of poker to the friendly contest of skill and honest chats for which it was derived. Yeah, but conning your friends out of all the money is so much better, isn't it? <laughs> if only I had something to do that. The back design in this one is just like you saw on the top case of a gold border. Reminds me of um, some Tennessee decks I have. Very nice. The Jokers, they got a full body to them. It says Joker in the corners. They got the four pips on there. This one's badly centered, as you can see. The Joker is really far from the edge here and close down here. But the other one, which is the same, is actually centered nicely. <laughs> Go figure. Um, the Ace of Spades. It's got some kind of an eagle or a mythological creature on top. You see his image there and it says Jack Daniels Distillery and the very bottom it says manufactured under the authority of them. 
nice big bold index. The cards are not white, they actually have a an off white look to them. And eight of court cards, again, not scented too well, but pretty nice court cards, vintage style. Although I would have thought that they would have used the actual one-way full-body court cards, like the Jokers, but they didn't. But that's okay. Big pips on those court cards. Index is nice, easy to read. That's that. Number cards, again, the same pips. You see a little bit of, maybe a tiny bit of, um, what's gonna call it? I mean, you see a little bit of specs on the pips, like a um, it perfection is what I meant to say. A little bit of it perfection on some of the pips, which is pretty interesting. The other deck is exactly the same, including the ad card, uh, except the back design is different. It's what you see on the tough case, Jack Daniels, old number seven. One way back design once again. Um, borderless. Some minor damage on these cards, but that's okay. They're actually in in pretty good shape, considering you know I found them at a at a used store, first shop. Quality is about as what you would expect, I guess. This one seems to be a little bit better. The cards themselves. I, mean, I know you can find decks like this and other. All sorts of Zach Daniels decks, whether it's on Etsy.com or eBay or whatever, RubyLane.com. Uh, they just have a smooth finish, plastic holder type finish. Pretty thin stock, reminds me of like an aviator perhaps. Um, but it is produced by Hoyle, which of course is no longer in existence. Pretty cool. Actually, I did see something here. Ah. I forgot, uh, it actually does say here on the tin that's Hoyle Products, a trademark stuff, and um, that it's, well, it says 1997, all rights reserved, and that it's uh, made in USA, but the tin is made in China. So, um, it is what it is. I don't know if this tin actually came with these decks or not, but I like it, it's pretty cool. That is that. Um, they handle as good as you would expect for an older deck that's like 20 years old and um, <clears throat> you know it's not it's not exactly USB-C quality but it's not horrible and it's a nice stock. I wasn't looking for cards to force or anything like that so I'm happy with it. I mean I did not have major expectations when I got these so I'm happy with them as is. That is that. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Of course, check out collectiblepointguards.com for a massive selection of point guards. You name it, they have it. That's that. Use Visa's A32 to save 10% off your order. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.